Hi, I'm Susan Winter and welcome to SusanWinter.net. Now a lot of you have been writing in for this article, Hot and Cold, and I want to go into some detail and alleviate some of your concerns and I want you to get savvy and smart about what's really happening. Hot and Cold is a series of cycles. It has patterns and it has patterns within each segment. Here's what I want you to understand, whether it's conscious or unconscious. The person who's doing hot and cold with you is doing it to protect themselves. They want to feel love, but they don't want to actually suffer any of the possible consequences of being hurt. They love being adored. And hot and cold will engage any human being because it's based on a premise that follows human nature. Flee, they follow. Follow, they flee. What I mean by this is that your hot and cold player does understand that once they've started the hot cycle and then they pull back, it's going to make you crazy. Now, it's not as sadistic as it may sound. Again, it could be completely unconscious, but all they know is that it's human nature to want to continue with feeling attention. And when the attention has been stopped dramatically, we yearn for it. We want it. We start obsessing about the person. So here's how it goes. Phase one, the hot phase. You are bathed in their attention. There is constant contact. You feel like you've been placed on the center of their radar. There's flirtation and banter, easy communication, text messages, phone calls, you see each other. All is going well. Then, completely unexpectedly, texts are not returned. Dates are broken. You, as a normal, healthy, functioning person, are left wondering, what did I do? What did I do wrong? So you start to pursue, right? Flee, they follow. So now you're pursuing them, and also you're becoming worried. You're thinking you did something wrong. You think you created this dynamic. You did not. There's nothing you did or didn't do. So don't belabor that point. This is now the beginning of the cold cycle. It's the freeze out. Maybe they'll send you a text after four or five. Maybe they'll give you some lame excuse. Maybe they won't respond at all. The hot cycle is short and intense. The cold cycle is long. Here's the pattern. You're frozen in the cold cycle. Now you're obsessed. You're thinking about them. You feel you did something wrong. You can't seem to come to a resolution and you can't get an answer. Then, out of nowhere, you've given up, you've moved on with your life, maybe you're seeing somebody new. It is almost telepathic. This person will shoot you a text out of nowhere, hey, how have you been? Been thinking about you. You gonna be around Friday? You're flabbergasted. Why now? Why not all the time you were contacting them? This is how it goes, and they hook you one more time. When you've noticed this pattern and you've gone through one entire cycle, you should be smart enough to get out. But for those of you that are committed to leaving no stone unturned and going to figure out if you can have a relationship with this person, you will find a short, brief time of contact, probably broken dates, probably not texting you back when they say they're going to, not seeing you when they're going to say that they will see you, and then another cold cycle. And this is how this pattern goes. You have to understand that these are people who want you to adore them. They love to feel the support energetically of people thinking about them and wanting them. Now, it does us very little good to have to go over the psychology of this because it really doesn't help you any more than that. You don't need to go back into their personal history, what made them like that, can you change them? No. A person does this because it makes them feel good and makes them feel empowered. There's only one way to get your power back. You need to confront these people honestly and directly. I don't do hot and cold. I think I deserve a response. Listen, and the most basics of human politeness, a response to a text would be good. Here's another aspect that I want you to think about. In the hot and cold behavior, there's a marked difference between that and a relationship hiccup. 
A relationship hiccup is almost like a novice driver learning to drive stick shift. In between the gears, there's a little bit of lurching. There are times that you meet a person, you're seeing them, you're going out for a week or two or three, and suddenly they start to backpedal. And you can feel that they have resistance and they have inner conflict. In a relationship hiccup, they will tell you their concerns. They will be very open and honest. And they'll take all the time they need to explain this to you because they do care and they are battling something within themselves. As opposed to you're confronting a hot and cold person, Here's what you're going to get. You'll get a brief, generic blow-off that has to do with time. Oh, I'm slammed at work. We took on three new clients. I've got five new projects. I'm going to the airport. I'm at the airport. I'm abroad. Uh, my father's sick. My mother's sick. My dog is sick. Any one of these generic excuses is said in one sentence, probably a text, followed by the hook. The hook is to keep you engaged. It doesn't answer your question. It doesn't tell you where you're going in the relationship. It doesn't tell you what they want. The hook is just enough oxygen to let you live. And it's normally something vague in the future. We'll speak soon. Really? I mean, what, what does that mean? We'll speak soon. See you later. I'll catch up with you. How about, you know, I may have time. I, I think my schedule is easing up at the end of the month. Let's, let's talk later. Let's, let's see what that looks like. Maybe I'm free on Friday. Don't bite the bait. And if you doubt me, go through one cycle because you're going to see the patterns. I'm so sorry to tell all of you, but you can't work with a hot and cold player. They don't have a skill set for a relationship. They're committed to staying safe. And no matter how wonderful you are, how loving you are, or how great that connection felt. There is no substantial person inside that's willing to come out and play courageously and be involved with you. There's more in this article, and I have more on SusanWinter.net.